Hey there, welcome to old school. What I like to call the new school. <laughs> you know, because like I get it, like it has a name for a reason, and we are obviously not the old school cast that you are used to having. I guarantee you will still enjoy us. But I'm Brooke Thomas, and I'm Maytha Alhausen or Dr. Maytha. So glad to be joined <laughs> by you guys. Hi guys, Jason Carter here. Uh, ladies, hi. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a nice time of year. I always like go back. Like I think, like I like the energy around the holidays. Mm -hmm. But I, when people say like, "Oh, this is my favorite time of year," I always think that like this is my favorite time of the year. But then I really like the summer. Yeah. Well, we in Los Angeles, um, it's summer all year round, except Brooke. for the past three years what, when but, that has not been the truth. But it's been. I, I am from a place that it gets is the Arctic outside right and now, and I'm here for all that. Like, no, no. I'm from Alpha, New Mexico. We get all Listen. four seasons. So when there isn't a shift in the temperature, I'm like, I, it, yeah, it's it's weird. I think the sunshine all the time in Los Angeles is oppressive. No, okay, I'm gonna really break this oh, down the LA girl. because I'm from LA, born and raised in Southern California. And we do get rain, unfortunately, so I'm aware of that. But if it goes under 80 degrees, it's cold. Like mm. that, that is a standard. Well, 80 I is. But, it's harsh. But, but listen, but listen, this is the thing. So we don't, 75 is really high here. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I mean, we have no humidity. Especially if you, live, if you live in the valley. Yeah, but we have no humidity. Think about it. Like mm -hmm. if it's 75 in New York, that can be a little too uncomfortable on the subway, right. right? Right. But here's the thing. We don't have seasons in a year. We have them in a day. You wake up and it's brick. <laughs> it is really, really cold. And then it burns off a little bit and it's hot for two hours. This is how winter goes. And then sun sets at four o'clock. It's cold again, and then we go back to like wheel people's winter. But I feel like we had days last week where it was like 45 degrees outside all day. during the day. Yeah, yeah. that's what happened. And it, it was, was like this last holiday too. Yeah, yeah, last, oh, yeah, I mean yeah, like yeah. Last, no, no. Right. Last year, we were around this time. Last year we turned into Seattle. I thought climate yeah, change was, so was gonna make us the Caribbean, but apparently we're really the Northwest right. when that happens. Well, I was in Monterey for Thanksgiving and it was 45 degrees. It was and it, it rained. It was 42 here. Yeah, it rained, but I, I was here, for, I, no. the winter clothes are great. No, I don't That's, like that's it. That's why it was, we it have. Was, it was, it was a, I took brisk walks <laughs> on the beach. That's why you have 90% of the country that anybody can live and move to. And that's that's free for folks. She okay. It's yeah, an interesting um, perspective. What is that? Ad for shop TYT. Brought to you by those thugs at TYT. Mm, yeah. Does somebody want to change that? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain. It Jenk oh. says it every single episode that he does. So it's okay. Just, it's it's an inside old school. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess that's why the new school is here. Right. Okay. So Brooke, what's on it the docket? <laughs> It's a triggering word for this diverse group here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so what? Brooke's face. Wait, listen. I look down like, wait, Earth? <laughs> don't tell me there's an inside joke about terrorists. No, hey. I don't want to see that no, on the, on the lower What's side. that meme? And I whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that Jasmine Masters meme? <laughs> um, all right, though, but hi. Uh, yeah, the holidays are here. What, what, what are you talking about today? I wanted to get your opinion on something. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I have a friend, and I'm not gonna say her name because, and because and, I didn't ask her if I could talk about this, and I feel bad about that. <laughs> but I just saw a Facebook post, and it, she's a personal friend, so I've lived in a thousand different places. Yeah. Um, and she also is like a really good person who is like always like concerned with like doing the right thing. I think she's a genuinely kind person. Um, so keep that in mind. So this is not about her. Okay. This is about like the topic because I was looking through the comments on one of her posts. Um, on this specific post, and I was fascinated that we weren't all on the same page. So she says that um, she was in a store buying something and was counting out cash. So she's got a bunch of stuff in her hands. She's got her purse open and she's trying to like count out cash. And so she's like finding like twenty dollar bills in her bag and change. And so she's sitting it down on the counter as she finds it, which is totally fine, right? She's sitting it down on the counter as she finds it, and then she counts out the exact amount. And then she looks at the cashier, and the cashier is like, "Oh, I'm just waiting for you to hand that to me." And um, she was like, "Oh my gosh!" She was like, "So I scooped it up and handed it to her." But she was like, "Oh my gosh, did I do something rude? Like I hadn't thought of that before." And my first reaction is, "Well, yeah, like you did something rude." And mm. um, one person explained it really well. Like she was like, um, "Think about this. How would you feel if she handed you your change back that way?" Yeah. 
You know, like if she, thank you, Craig, I was looking at the wrong camera. It's okay. Um. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay, B. It's but all right. I don't want to hide it, you know? <laughs> he was like very like kindly, like gonna like quietly let me know that it's, this was the wrong thing. You know, you've done this before, act like it. Um. <laughs> Why and act now brand new, Brooks? I don't know, you know, I'm sorry. No, but so. And obviously she didn't mean it maliciously. That that wasn't the point of what happened to her. I think that she, it was already in the process of like it was there. And yeah. so she thought like she's finished, she's got a bunch of stuff in her hands, that was it. And it hadn't even crossed her mind before. That was something my grandma told me like, so anyway, the people in the comments were like, what's well, nothing to get an attitude about? Half the people were like, no, it's rude. Like you've got to like, you know, do what you can and not make people in like the service industry feel small. Yeah. Right, right. And. Uh, sorry. No, go ahead. I'm um, good. And but a lot of people were like, "No, it's not rude. Like, what? It doesn't matter. What are you thinking? What are you talking about?" Hmm. And I I find it fascinating for two reasons. One, because what? Of course it's rude. And then also, but I can I can understand how you could like if that wasn't your um, intent, then right. you would be like, "Oh my gosh, I didn't even know." And also, we were all raised like differently. And mm. um, but that was something that like my grandma always like told me like you know no you hand money right to people like you look them in. Um, you look them in their eye, you hand them the money. And so I just wanted your thoughts on that. Ladies first. Oh, I mean, it's interesting because I automatically thought about my experience uh, in Japan, uh -huh. which I don't know if you know, I'm gonna demonstrate what they do with, if you give them a credit card, they always hand it back like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I never knew how to take it back, but there is, and uh, a customer service understanding that that exchange has to happen with the hands, right? Like they're not gonna put it on the tray for you and you just take it back. And I've had people do that with credit cards here. And especially since it, it easily um, lets people know what your numbers are, unfortunately. So I can understand that you do the same to the other person, for sure. You put, you put the credit card in their hand or you put the money in their hand because it's like you don't want to touch them. What like what's that's that? What, I think that's what the the offense is. Like for me, it's like well, you don't want to touch me. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to exactly have to scrape this up for you. Like. Right. See, see, I disagree. I mean, I, I personally, I'm I'm two schools of thoughts about okay. thought about this because I was raised. I worked in the service industry, mm -hmm. and I. When let's say someone's paying with a credit card, one thing that's unacceptable is when people throw oh. currency or, yeah. or things at you. That's unacceptable. Yeah. But had I some had I been at a place where um, someone had put the money down and counted it out, and I picked up, I wouldn't have a problem with that because I do that when I pay for things. Like at the store, if I'm paying with cash, I'll count it out and be like, "Here you go." But, oh no, no, no! I will yeah. count it out and hand and it then, to you because yeah. we're standing this close right. together. But more times than not, though, I think, and this is and this is probably bad with like millennials and younger generations, is that we're so on the phone doing all these we're things, distracted. we're distracted right. that that we're not really present or right. cognizant of the actions that we're doing. So you mentioned, Brooke, you had mentioned intent, mm -hmm. yes? So I think if you intentionally are being dismissive, disrespectful, or discounting that person as a human being, absolutely, there's a problem there. Mm -hmm. But if you've been raised as I was to, uh, it's 4766, 2025, Fun, boom, and I'll, and, I'll, and then they'll see it, I'll put it together, and then they could pick it up. And that's just how I was raised. Maybe because I'm from New Mexico, I'm crazy, <laughs> but, um, but I could see how people would be offended by that. Well, you know my favorite phrase is what? intent does not negate impact. Okay. Right, and because right. like you put, think about it this way, this is your one interaction with this person. Sure. And you're thinking, first of all, I don't care where your heart is. And I always say that I don't, I don't care where your heart is because your responsibility lies in like your actions and the impact on another person, I never really care. Like. Um, you know, like when you do something like harmful to somebody, like we're not five. And also like think about like all day how awful human beings are to cashiers. Yeah. yeah. Most people, I think like most interactions, like I just think that like it is a thankless job where like just people like beat down on you yeah. and you don't get paid enough. Like you don't even get paid the living wage and like most It's hard to deal with people. Right. right. And so. And it's you've robotic, got, you're constantly exactly. doing so the same thing. Exactly, so you've had all days of people treating you like you're a machine and like you, you, know, you don't really matter. Your paycheck says you don't really matter. Like you're tired yeah. and then a person comes in and expects you to, you know, they don't mean it, but does it matter that they don't mean it when they're the 45th person that's done something awful? Like, does that make sense? Oh, well, like, right. Brooke, that, makes, that makes sense 100%. I it think, still compounds, like it still adds right, to like. Right, right, but I think, okay, so you said about um, actions or impact, right? Mm -hmm. And your interaction with this person. Well, I will say that 
had, let's say, are we role playing here on TV? <laughs> no, it's fine. We can't um, listen. I mean, I took out really my credit card that I hope I covered the numbers really with because people, time here. people can yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but like, zoom into shots very yeah. easily. And we I can just do whatever you want. Really. But look, so let's say, like, let's say I'm, we're at Rouse and okay. I'm buying my, my, Jabon, my Jabani yogurt. I right? like to shop at Trader Joe's. Okay, so okay, I, okay great. <laughs> but you're an organic girl. Organic Joe's, girl. So um, but, if I'm working, I'd like to work at Trader Joe's. But let's say I'm like, you're like, Mr. Carter, it's 40 Six seventy-seven. No problem. Oh my gosh, you look great today. How's your day today? Boom, here it is. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I think I'll I do this. Uh, oh, so, <laughs> but I'm just saying you had said that actions have impact, right? It's not your intent; it's your impact. Mm -hmm. I do think that if you are present with that person, and there is an exchange of body language that could possibly be kind. That's or, body language. Well, okay, well, mm -hmm. yeah, but I mean, it's like tomato tomato. Like it's it's you you feel you feel it's rude because that's yeah. how you interpret that. But for people who don't feel it's rude, feel it's rude for you not to to speak to the person, or or feel it's rude for you to hand them money but not look them in the eye. There's also there's cues and behaviors that happen in that capacity. So I mean, I think well, it's, it's all depends it's, on the person. I would say terrible cashier. Okay, <laughs> I had like multiple jobs as a teenager, and by terrible I mean that like I didn't handle people's awfulness well. Yeah. I wasn't resilient like that. <laughs> I was retaliatory. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is an example? I was not oh, resilient. I was retaliatory. So if you were rude to me when I worked at Blockbuster when I was a teenager, and I got a special permit. Can you? To start you you might have to 14. explain what Blockbuster is. Oh <laughs> right, it was this video store where you would go and rent DVDs. Before that, VHS is by, it was DVDs by the time I was There are these big block tapes it was, it was that you put hey, into a device. Rewind. Be kind and rewind. <laughs> um, so if you were rude to me, I would smile through it and forget to untag your DVD. So when you got home, you couldn't open it. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Tommy. Or when I worked at Walmart. I did too, great place. Um, <laughs> like if you were awful to me, I would Forget to security scan the most embarrassing thing um, <laughs> in the purchase. So your condoms would go off at the door. Good. <laughs> These are what, like, this is this is what a 15 year old does, right? Like, this is, I was a kid. Yeah. Or, like, yeah, I, I mean, people were awful and it was just like, you listen, you're not gonna talk to me like that. Yeah. Well, well like here's 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 a question because I think customer service is a very this is a great topic for us to dig into because one, how you treat somebody mm -hmm. is incredibly important because their whole are the whole job. Also, condoms are not an embarrassing thing when you're 15. You think they're funny, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So. The whole job is to make sure your experience is pleasant, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the part of the exchange is the cashier. But when it comes to somebody who's a waiter, you're in New York, it is they're of the mind that the waiter should be um, almost invisible. Like not interrupt your conversation. How many times do you have somebody checking in like, are you okay? And you're in the middle of like a deep story about a breakup. And they're like, do you want some more water? Do you want something? I don't do you care about that. Oh. I know that New Yorkers have an issue with that because apparently you're supposed to move around seamlessly and then you're nice in the tip. So, first of all, think tipping, of we can talk about that. Tipping is not an option. Well, like, tipping 20% is part of your meal. Uh, yeah, 20%. So, you don't get to sure. base like how you tip, in my opinion, you don't get to base how you tip on whether someone was nice to you or if they interrupted you or not. Unfortunately, if you have a problem with that, take that up with America. Because right. it is the weird way that we pay people in like the restaurant industry, but we say, hey, you have to make up part of their salary. That the and employer and is not yeah. willing to. And yeah. listen, sometimes you don't have 20%. Sometimes you only, you know, it's like five for 25. I don't know, I'm making something up, but um, I haven't been to Applebee's in a really long time. <laughs> but like you, this is the number and you only have that, that's fine. You can't afford to eat out that day. See, yeah, okay. Because that 20% is part of your fee. So what you're saying, Brooke, is that if you can't tip, you shouldn't be eating out. You can't afford to. Well, that's a fair that's a fair assessment. I will yeah. say this though. Made Tipping up, is not a gift. Right. It's not, it's 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 the, it's the price of your meal. Okay. That's how I I, 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 no, yeah. I and I and I agree with you. I know a lot of people yeah. watching probably agree yeah. agree with you as well. I say this though. Mm. I tip very well, especially around the holidays, because I understand how hard it is to deal with the public. However, yeah. My job is to be 
exemplary and stellar at my job and, and whatever I'm doing. If I if I'm if I'm digging a ditch or whatever whatever I'm doing, I should be the best at that, right? I'm choosing to be in this job that that entails and has these elements that come with it. So if I am, let's say I'm at an Applebee's mm-hmm. and we have Sasha who is full out rude and disgusting and doesn't offer great service because again, her job is to offer that service. I do think it should be reflected reflected in the text. No, 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 your only option is to never come back again. Right, that's right. your option. You don't go back to that store. You there know, are way too many Applebee's and we, you, none of us are above having a bad attitude at work. And some yeah. of us are lucky enough to not work in a, an industry or in a business. And all of our like, you know, jobs come with like non-perfect spots. So I'm not right, right, saying right. that like the grass is always greener. But what I'm saying is that um, my paycheck doesn't get docked because I roll my eyes one day. Oh yes, and a right. lot of jobs that right, and right. that is and tipping in this country is it's it is part of. The cost of your meal, and if you do not like how Sasha was, yeah, you can be an awful person and decide that somebody who makes seven twenty-five an hour should be fired, and you want to report them because you're trash. Right? Okay. It's like, or Uber. you can just not go back. Now, I know you're not. Yeah, a, yeah. Um, but let me talk I agree. To you. I agree. I agree. <laughs> you, you know me. I know but, you better but, than but, that. No, but, but I'm like, saying though, look, look here, that, that Brooke, that's a great you point. You should not. You, whether your child eats or not, shouldn't be dependent on. If you were able to just push through everything in your life and smile to the to the this person's sure. like you know like I don't know I just I no, think that, that like tipping is yeah yeah, yeah yeah but I so what I, the the second part the compound the compound layer but I was saying is that I will always tip twenty percent is is mandatory right yeah. so Sasha our 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 make believe waiter at <laughs> said the restaurant bad attitude, the bad, right? she would have got fifteen she would have got fifteen percent for me however I will also say that it's intent right. I get it. We're human. We have days where life sucks yeah. and it's hard, and you're yeah. dealing with everything. Just sucks, right? Yeah. But when you do have that one Sasha right. that is just intentionally rude, just does not care. You've given. But ch- how do you know it's intentional? How do you know it's right. not that okay. her grandma so, died? So, okay, yeah. Her boss is a jerk, and she deals with sexism and racism. And the person sitting next to you was awful, and she's just her her husband just lost. Like, how do you know? Because that it, what, right, because oh, there's only been one instance that I've eaten out in my adult life where I didn't tip someone because that person was openly rude. Right. Mm-hmm. Openly rude. So what I'm saying is there there. There are, there, there's, I feel there are circumstances, there's always circumstances where it's like, no, I'm sorry, I, I don't support giving my hard earned money. What if I, okay, so what if I was working in the service industry and fully aware and fully, and fully present and how hard that is for Sasha because I'm doing the same thing. Right. So that's the thing. That's why I say we have to look at it like it's the cost of your meal. Yeah. So right. you're looking at it like it's a gift to the person mm-hmm. and that if you don't behave to my level, then I'm going to pay you less. No, no, it's the cost of your meal. Because in other countries, the food right. costs a lot more because right. they don't pay people $2 well, an well, hour. And also, so if you were in a country where you didn't have that option, your meal would already be double. Right. And so here, you're getting a cheaper meal because you're supposed to make it up on the back end. So it's not what it's not about Sasha, it's about the, the steak you ate. The mm. steak is actually supposed to cost that 20% more, no matter how what her attitude right, is. Right. That's the agreement. And that's how that's that's really how the industry is supposed to, to work, work. Well, or they wouldn't pay them two dollars an hour. Right. Well, and also if you think about it, in other countries, it's a full-time job. So what is happening is you have your health care, you have whatever retirement package, whatever benefits come with a full-time gig, mm-hmm. and you're respected to that level. So they their job is to live up to that customer service standard. Mm-hmm. And I agree with you, Brooke. I think that the 20% is a mandatory tip. And then if you get stellar service, Go above and beyond and honor that for somebody. But I also believe that people have life circumstances, like you just said, that makes being on your feet, dealing with people. Like there are some days I don't want to interact with people and don't do that for like 80, 85% of my day. But if you're working in the restaurant business, you're, you're interacting with folks all day, have to have a smile on your face. But the problem with the American labor work system. We just devalue people. We devalue who keep people. keep this country running. Well, devalue people, keep 
the, uh, the country running, but also we are so unrealistic about what it means to be a whole person. Like uh -huh. you have to compartmentalize yourself at your gig that you spend most of your day at, and then you come back home and then compartmentalize yourself again. So no wonder there are so many issues with addiction, so many issues with mental health. Yeah. There are so many issues with disconnection from people. There are so many issues that people have just being themselves and not fucking. It's yeah. Oh, but don't get you know you like the cuss words. <laughs> I don't know. It only comes out here. I don't get it. Okay. I don't know it because I get riled up. Anyways, I don't even do this in class. It's weird, and I have all the privilege to do so as an educator. Thank you, thank you, Craig. Yeah, we need we need an it's X okay on this. On this show. Okay, okay. It's so okay on this show. we. Yeah, so people can't be fully themselves and they're constantly repressing. And that your body doesn't isn't a compartmentalized entity. So when you do that at that job all the time, you're bringing it to the rest of your life. So that 20%, yeah, that you're gonna get. The thing that I wanna know about is that they've now, because of this little iPad feature with the Square service, they've added that to cafes, they've added that. I was, I was at no, a supermarket yeah. and there's this, there's a little uh, a little window or a, a screen for do you want to tip at the supermarket? Yeah, well, because I, I mean, is there where, where? at, at Erewhon? Yeah, well, we can. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we live in a for profit society. <laughs> okay, wait, no, I don't think I don't think anybody knows about Erewhon. Just try right. that for the viewers, please. And why we're laughing so hard? Erewhon is said the supermarket. Okay? No, that's like that's like the alien. That's like a. Well, that's Listen, like the Neiman Marcus let me, of supermarket. No, 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 let me tell you guys. If, boutique Whole no, no, Foods. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. $90 for a pair. Let me tell you, if if Goop came to life, it would be Erewhon. Yeah, yeah the, the yoga pants, the, Stop. the, Stop all, it. the all of it, all of it. But yeah, anyways. You I, know Erewhon's bougie when it was on the hills, okay? Me, <laughs> I was telling my mom this story yesterday. I'm sorry, I do this. This is my life. Be, they, you ordered like a pasta or something, and they asked you if you wanted chicken to add chicken to it. And it was like twenty two dollars yeah. for the chicken. Yeah. Wait, that one? That, no, it wasn't. But it no. just reminds me. It was at this place. Like, where were you at? In some some restaurant, some bougie <laughs> he was ass mad restaurant about that for a in week. the valley. And I'm thinking like, uh, pasta, uh, uh. And I was like, oh, can I add chicken? Yeah, it'll be twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, what? Today, 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 I was at a Mexican cantina. Literally, it called itself a cantina, and they said that they had shrimp tacos. And I asked, "Well, what about fish tacos?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, it's catch of the day, so it will be forty-eight dollars for tacos." No. Oh my mm -mm. goodness. See, the, I look. I eat <laughs> the same. You know, I go to my California chicken cafe like shop, all the time because you know what. I know my twelve dollars and fifty cents is gonna get me a bomb ass salad. And okay, if it's fancy. Where are we going? Uh, for CPK or we're going to Bossa Nova. We're going to Bossa Nova. We're going to Bossa Nova. <laughs> Bossa Nova. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna eat good there, you guys. But if, look, listen. If Jason oh. asks, do I want to go to dinner? I know I need to come up <laughs> with an option, option. <laughs> because if I don't, we are going go to, to Bossa Nova. Nova. Okay. Oh, you guys. We can go to a different one if you want. <laughs> but. <we> <laughs> I feel so dirty. I feel like that's where I take people on the date and like, you know, did, did you get Bossa Nova? You wait, got Bossa wait, Nova. Wait, wait, wait. Right? So I, I start panicking like, no, where do I want to go? Where do I, uh, where do wow, I know? Where Brooke, do I want to go? Our friendship is unfolding on the young turks. Well, Ten years wait, wait, wait. You've been here for 15 years and those are your three options. No, because listen, okay. Uh, oh, hold on. I want to touch back on what you guys yes, were saying. Sorry, the, sorry, I, no, I, I think, I think you ladies make very good you. points and for the audience watching at home, I'm not also, a complete I know you and this is like, you're talking about some principle that you've never acted out. Yeah, but so. yeah, no, and I, and I, but you had said about compartmentalizing. Yeah, I, I feel that, Meta. I, I feel that because in any industry you work in, especially a a, um, um, a public facing industry, yes. be it entertainment, teaching, educator, you are always at the mercy of. And if you're a person of color, making people feel comfortable right. to be in your presence, yep. right? Yeah, and absolutely. And so, I think I worked for a wireless provider for many years, and. Customer service was the biggest thing, and people, especially in Los Angeles, there is—I don't want to say there's entitlement, a sense of entitlement. There's a sense of entitlement, but there is a <laughs> lot of money. I agree with that, and I'm from yeah, here. Yeah, there's I a lot of money, and people that. want a type of service, mm -hmm. right? So, for after years of feeling like I wasn't a human because I was providing excellent customer service with okay compensation, right? I felt like okay, I could think about this two ways: I could constantly be bitter about the job I'm doing, 
or I can accept and surrender to the reality of this is just how this is. How can I sludge through this and and preserve my sanity? Some of the not all people who work in the service industry are douchebags. Of course, they're not. There's great people. The service industry is a wonderful place for people. There's families that build businesses. Yeah. However, there are some people who need to realize that this is the job they're doing and there are certain ways you have to be to do the job. Now back to Sasha and her bad day, it only happened <laughs> For once. For sure, but that doesn't but that has nothing to do with their compensation. No, but the customer. Right, but to say it goes back to the customer is always right. They're not though they mo- no. they stay wrong. Okay. No, they stay wrong. I, I, the customer is not the customer is crazy. The customer is crazy, psychotic, lit um, delusional, no entitled, way. broke, bad credit. <laughs> what do you, what do you, <laughs> <laughs> however, however, I do think that on both parties, the customer needs to be aware of how to treat or, or have adjust their expectations with the ser- people that are serving them, and also servers need to adjust their expectations sometimes to the customer. And it's sh- Oops, sorry. It's, it's not. A, no, no, no. We, we're good. We're it's good. Un, it's, I already. It's, it's an unfavorable way to think. It's messed up. The reality is, it's messed up. It but sucks, like we but can't put all of these rules on a person who's not even able to eat three times a day because their paycheck is yeah, so yeah. small. No, you're like, that's I'm right. I just like I I can't like I get I and I you know I don't I hate a bad attitude. Yeah. Especially a bad attitude directed at me that I feel like I don't deserve. deserve right? right. But um. Uh, like I, it's, I, I think that as the the customer, the responsibility is more on the customer. Sure. I think That's to be fair. a little bit more forgiving, to be to do, and, and the issue is with America, right? Yeah. We America, sh- they, like because like the system here has this idea that like we're paying you two dollars an hour to protect the restaurant industry because and then the cust- the customer they will make up the other part. Yeah. That's that's kind of that's how it's well, set up and so the customer can't renege on that depending on the the server's attitude. Right. Right, right. right. Because like wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I get it. And, and nobody should have an attitude. It's just um, don't go back. Don't go back. I, yeah. I'm not messing with Sasha no more and and this Applebee's because the manager should know how, I don't know, just like don't it's like I don't know. Don't go back. There's we so many we also we eat there out. are a lot of Bossa Nova. Uh, right. No, there's, uh, actually, there's only two in Los Angeles. I don't know. If I've only been to two. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm not that good of a Bossa Nova no, customer, but I do love that traditional chicken, y'all. We'll get <laughs> he you also to gets get the same there. thing. Every once in a while, he's having a spicy day, and you can get him to drink a sangria with Ooh, you. Oh yes, the white sangria. <laughs> but praise most him. of the time, it's water. <laughs> True. With the lemon. With the lemon. <laughs> that Sasha brought me happily. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, no. The problem is with America. The problem is with America also giving us a false notion of how much things actually cost. Like you said, the value of work, mm-hmm. and we eat out a lot, so we expect it to be affordable within whatever our income range is. So food should actually be more expensive than we're used to paying for. And then you put on top of that labor that's underpaid, service, busboys, mm-hmm. chefs, sous chefs. Those folks should be getting paid way more right. than they actually do, but we need a meal that's $20 or $25 or whatever whatever that is that we're used to and that we can have like three, four, five times a week. So I think, like you said, it's America. It's also the structure of our lifestyles. We don't have time to make food at home, even though we get all our little blue aprons and we still don't know how to cook. And if, you, if you don't wanna be a part of that world, then go get your, your bags of rice. Your beans or whatever, um, but we also need to figure out what it means to eat healthfully with it not being so unaffordable for the kind of salaries that people are getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I th- and that can be done. But yeah. the problem is that we're kind of stuck in the setup and everybody's just trucking around and mad with life as they should be, and that shows up in their work. Yeah, right. you know, and that shows up. If I had to engage people that amount of time all the time, you wouldn't see that smile that's on my face most days. Most days I'm just interacting with people if I'm in a classroom for an hour and 15 minutes, that's it. If I'm doing television, it's what, like an hour, and here we're like 88 minutes, so this is a lot more, so we'll see how long, how much stamina I have for niceness. Um, but other than that, I, I can't imagine. Being yeah. be, having to be on that much and on your feet and running back and forth carrying I mean, trays and I've never done that so I want to be honest about that. I lasted in retail for two weeks. No, I've never. I, been I, pro- I, I, I should have been fired from Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was, I was, I was so. so I'm, it should have been right. Like. I'm, I'm a quadruple Aquarian, so I'm like a wrecking ball to authority. So that's how long I lasted. I didn't even pick up my paycheck because I was just fuming mad about how I was treated because they were trying to act like I wasn't the highest grossing person at that store. You tell them in those two weeks, okay? <laughs> You're like, hey, I, cha I changed hey, the hello. game. Listen, listen. Beyonce came by my store, and I'll, I'll save that story for the next mo next moment we come back, but. We, yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> so here's the thing, I know when we wrap, I just don't know why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, gonna take a break now, but uh, keep it rolling for people on linear and <laughs> podcasts, right? Is that right? Yep. Yep, and so exactly, you better be, yep, uh huh, exactly. Yep. Like what you see? Of course you did, it was old school. So click the subscribe button below. And don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.